for the serious gamer. Hey guys, it's Killer Guy from Action Tactics, and I'm here with my 12th meta moment. This one's titled Don't Lose the Game. The general layout of this meta moment will be playing as the Panthers up against the Buffalo Bills. And yes, Buffalo Bills suck, as you guys know, and let's talk about the Bills um, in the draft. They picked up a freaking running back in the first round, second round, whatever. And I just thought to myself, they recently just picked up Marshawn Lynch, which is a which was a success for the Bills. And I have no idea why would they pick up a new running back. Makes no sense in my mind. Comment in the box saying your thoughts on that if you actually do follow the NFL. But let's move on to the real meta moment here. And um, as you know, the score is 17-9, so you're gonna definitely be, have to be going for two. When you do score the TD, this one shouldn't be too hard since you have five minutes to do this. And um, <laughs> see here, uh, I actually didn't realize it was going to be fourth down because this is my first time through this meta moment. And um, pretty stupid, did some like cover three okay, thing, and ended up picking the ball up and getting pretty much zero yards on that punt. But guys, that does not matter. Don't get discouraged if you get zero yards on the punt return because. This shotgun game plan is all you're going to need to win. Shotgun formation, like I always say, two receivers on the right. Running backs need to be running some kind of cross or cut route. See there, pass to my underneath running back because I read man coverage. You're probably wondering, how do you read man coverage? To read man coverage, you're going to want to look at the linebackers and look at the cornerbacks. If they're following the people right in front of them the receivers are running backs then you know it's man coverage as you see there um that was man coverage it's being a little cocky and tried getting it over top slot receivers so don't be cocky like i was there should just pass the underneath receiver if you do read man um you're gonna want to be passing to the slot receiver if you read cover three um, which cover three was not there um, they did a zone blitz there so I got a little confused since I'm not too good at reading zone blitzes since every single zone blitz is a different coverage um, here they ran man again so I didn't see my right underneath the receiver open so I had to pass my left one um, not doing too good it's fourth down but guys man a moment just go for it on fourth down it really does not matter all you have to do if you don't go for it you have five minutes do cover three in defense and you'll be all right. Okay, I'll admit there, guys. I got lucky. I got very lucky since they ran man for like the fourth time in a row and I have to pass my underneath receivers. But like I said, if you don't make it, uh, go cover three in defense and you should be able to easily get the ball back. Um, I don't know why they keep on running man. It's actually bothering me because if they run cover three, I should be able to get an easy 20 yard game. Since against cover three, you'll see a gigantic gap for that slot receiver, and whoopity do, hell you go, go to town, go to town with that slot receiver, and you'll need to get an easy 15 20 yard gain. This man coverage is bothering me, it's getting me pissed off because all I'm getting is like nine yards per throw. And uh, cover two for that outside slot receiver, and you'll recover two by seeing that cornerback bump and coverage that red guy bump and zone, should I say. And uh, that's how you recover too. But anyways, I'm pretty sure they ran man once again. Not getting happy with this since um, now they're starting to uh, cover me very well. So those slot receivers were not even, I mean my running backs weren't even open there. So I had to uh, make a very bad throw. Luckily that was not intercepted. Oh my god, this man coverage is really pissing me off now. It really is. Just even watching it. I don't even think I um, was getting too mad when I was uh, playing it, but uh, now it's bothering me very much. Sorry, I'm just yawning there. And uh, I think... Nope. Man coverage again. And um, it was man coverage there, but I'm getting a little frustrated. So I looked at the uh, receivers on the right. They were My outside receiver was able to easily beat the cornerback. Since I'm pretty sure he coveraged him, bumping covered him, and um, able to beat the, to beat the press and uh, over the top touchdown. But 
if that does not go like you, where they run man defense every time. Um, just follow tips, like I said, with the cover three, cover two, and the man. But anyways, you're going to have to go for two. I decide to go run up the middle uh, since computers suck near the goal line and easy run. And I honestly don't like passing near the goal line because there's a very good chance of them picking it off and very good chance of it not being complete since the zones are very tight when it comes to the goal line. Um, so yeah, don't want to be doing that. Um, we are on defense now. They are... Well, actually, it'll be different for you guys. They might run it. They might pass it. Um, depending on how weird the computer is acting. If they do decide to run it, uh, you're going to want to utilize your zero timeouts that you have left. <laughs> I was about to say utilize your timeouts, but you don't have any left. So, um, in my case, they decide to pass it. Uh, so I go cover three every single time with defense cover three cover three cover three cover three because the, com the computer has a hard time working against the computer the cover three god damn it I'm getting my words mixed up today uh, They decide to run on second down Whatever he gets a first down. It's no big deal guys. You won't really need to be worrying about getting a quick four and out just because there is well, it started out with five and a half minutes, something like that, and we're down to two minutes and forty seconds, so nothing to really worry about here. Uh, decide to run a toss, and uh, he gets whatever, pretty sure four yards or so. Really does not matter. Just keep on running the cover three. Don't get uh, don't get worried that it's not working because uh, it works. It just works. I don't know why. It just works. Because computers are idiots. And I uh, see there. He uh, didn't even try to attempt to catch that. It was a pretty bad uh, throw and catch. Actually, he just dropped that. Never mind. But anyways, third and six. What are we going to do? Once again, cover three. Cover three. And yes, guys. Um, Man and moments do get pretty boring when you're doing the same exact thing over and over. But, guys, that's how you got to... So you guys gotta beat it, you know? We're gonna another first down. I'm not discouraged at all to stop using cover three because I know I'm deep in my heart that it does work. And you should learn that too. That cover three works all the time. So he decides to go in the flats, which is exactly what cover three beats. And um, I see there a uh, two yard loss. Nice. Uh, God, I'm really tired. It's like 1.46 p.m. I'm tired. Need to go get some food in my stomach. Anyways, I get pressure on him because you're always going to want to be using that user. You're going to always want to user up the D-line just because you want to pressure, pressure, pressure the quarterback. And uh, let the coverage people do their work in cover three. Don't need to worry about them doing it. And see there, he decided to run there since we're in the two-minute zone. And, um, yeah, he was not successful at all. See here, it's fourth down. He's going to want to punt it. Um, it's a little trick that I use. I drag up the one of the D-linemen up to the punt zone, and I use him until I pancake someone. And then I uh, run the ball back and... I don't know if here if I actually do pancake, but we'll see. We will see since he's trying to run out the clock. But even if there's a minute left, I can score a TD, and all of you should be able to score a TD within one minute and zero timeouts. It's really not that hard against the computer. With my shotgun plan that I explained in full detail before. And uh, so we're just going to run through the shotgun plays, and this one should be quick and easy. Quick and easy. That's what she said. Okay, let's move on to um, let's our plays. Always shotgun set. Blah 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 blah. High route receivers on the right. Shriek route, and um, we'll see what I can do. And I'm pretty sure that I read cover three there. Or did I? No, that was cover three. But. Um, my head's up someone's ass, and I don't know what I'm doing. God damn it. But if you do recover through, you're going to want to pass that slot receiver. 
since that last coverage was cover three don't know what i'm doing swear red cover three again and yeah so smart there my head was in my own ass that time and i was able to uh pass to the right receiver that time you're gonna want to go curry up offense um because you don't want to be taking any chances here um let's see what it was that was man coverage and since that's a lot i mean that running back is near the sideline you're just gonna want to run out of bounds when you have the chance since um you don't want to be worried about time um i decided to run the ball because i wanted to win the game through a field goal i didn't want to take any chances and um you're probably wondering, uh, Killer God, why are you uh, running the ball near the 35-yard line? And honestly, I could score an easy field goal near the 35-yard line. Here's the tip, guys. Lower down that arrow all the way down. And in this game, um, the field goal needs to reach some like kind of height like automatically. So it actually goes further. So you can get easy 55-yard field goals just by lowering that down. And easier, easy field goal for the win. So guys, hope you like that success. Follow that shotgun game plan and the easy defense cover three game plan. And that was Killer Guy 23, Finishing Tactics, and I'm out.